Hello everyone, I hope you're having an awesome day, evening, or whatever time you're watching this video. This is going to be another Infinity Kingdom video. So, I'm excited today because I get to answer someone's question. Someone posted on one of my videos, actually I want to give a shout out to Emperor014. And his question was, some videos on, uh, he went on a, vi Ugh. maybe I could read it. But anyways, he wants a video on soul crystals and maybe the best ways to use them. So I did do a video on that, but I wasn't happy with the video. So I'm going to redo it now. And hopefully he likes this video and this answers his questions about souls crystals. So let me get rid of this. Let me shrink it. Let's go to full screen and let's get into it. So the market. The market is so important to the game, and the purple crystals are so important to the game. So I want to give you some tips on how to use the market to your advantage with developing your heroes and not run out of purple crystals because it's so easy to run out of purple crystals and then you get that awesome drop and you're like, I want those, I need those fragments, and you don't have any purple crystals or don't have any options. Uh, to get it and you just have to let it go so I did some build up as you could see I've been building up some uh, my market uh, scrolls and our market refreshes and also purple crystals I got 35,000 purple crystals right now I was able to take advantage of that nice gift that infinity kingdom just gave out to everyone and the, one of the chests gave me a bunch of Philosopher's Stones. So I was able to take full advantage of that and, and did some pulls. And I got some awesome drops off of those pulls. So um, before I go into the market and explain everything, let's take a look at where I'm at right now. Uh, so my main march is uh, Lightning March. It's at 43K. My secondary march, and awesome, I was able to get uh, Harold out of the arena. So my water march is full of epics. And I am build it, will be building up here a fire march. So I just had a pull of another fire. So I'll be able to have three plus the dragon. So four people in a fire march. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with my setup as, as we go in this game so far. Now, um... Let's take a look at my Immortals. Uh, so, I'm as I said, I'm focusing on Lightning's my main, Water's my secondary, and this is just a mismatch of stuff right now, but I just uh, pulled this one, and Ashoka, and I will be moving Ashoka in to replace uh, Julius Caesar. And so I will have three fire, plus I'll throw her in the dragon, and I'll keep uh, Cleopatra there. Uh, she's got some she's got some kick with some damage and so on so I'll keep her there so that's kind of my my setup all right first tip try to keep purple crystals wait all right try to keep a uh, some purple crystals as much as you can don't spend it too quickly and the way I do it is I don't focus on all my immortals, like all my epics. If I focus on all my epics, if I focus on my water march and my, my lightning march and try to do a fire march at the, all the same time, I will be going through purple crystals like crazy, you know, because I'll be purchasing too much. There'll be too many drops and I won't be able to focus enough on my main march. So my first priority is going to be my main march. I may pick from here. I may focus on Merlin. Um, but if, if one shows up with Harold right now, I'm not, probably not going to get it. If one shows up with Ashoka, I'm probably not going to get it. And well, I may get it, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to keep it in my inventory so I can use it if I want to use it or get rid of it. So the important thing about the market is to continue recycling. Now, I want to go in here before I go in there, and I want to look at your growth missions. Now, there is a growth mission in here. Buying 1,000 items from the market. See, and I'm only four items away to get that. 
And this growth is, is good because it gives you a lot of Lord experience, but also gives you a lot of gold. So once I achieve this, I'll get 80,000 in, in gold. And so how do you do this? Well, I purchase stuff. You could purchase, I mean, it takes some time doing it this way, but I could purchase, boom, purchase that's 250, that's 500, that's 500. So what we're at, uh, so we're at 1450. So I could go back to the market Let's go back to the market. I mean, Alchemy Lab, sorry. Oh, I still had stuff in here. Well, anyways, you're gonna get like for like. For whatever you purchase from the market, you're gonna get 100, and you get rid of, you get 100% back. So let's refine that. Boom. And we're gonna refine this. Boom. And... Boom. Okay, I'm not going to do it now, but I'll probably refine uh, this guy right here. Um, but I have plenty of purple crystals I don't need to do so right now. So, and I got a summons. Let me go ahead and do that one summons. Skip. Here we go. Okay, so I want to show that you get like for like. Do I do that? No, I probably, I, I don't do that. It just takes too much time. What I do do is I focus on things that I need, like deploy, and I purchase those. Even though I know I'm probably going to recycle them and send them back. So, boop. There. And there. And then I'm going to keep on not getting any lightning. I do like purchasing uh, dragon stones from the market. Boy, I'm getting a lot of water. A lot of water. Come on. Let me see. I just want to take a look real quick. Right there. Let's go in the alchemy lab. Do, 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 do. I just want to see where I'm at. So Peter's at 70. He's at 83. Richard's at 44. And so uh, Peter's probably close to upgrading. If I get a drop from him. Oh, no, 120. So 44. Okay. All right. Let's go back in there. All right, refresh. I am not getting good pulls from the market right now. Nothing lightning, nothing lightning. I do not like using gems in the market wherever possible unless it's like Attila the Hunt. Attila the Hunt is one of those heroes that you only get gem drops out of the market. And so you can only use gems. Uh, don't expect them to ever show up with purple crystals. There's also, <clears throat> where is it? Here. There's also here information. I don't quite understand it all, but kind of gives you uh, the drop rates. There we go. Finally, a lightning. So until the Han... I'm a little low. I'm not focusing on him. So I'm going to not purchase that right now. And I'm going to... He's already maxed out, so I don't need that. There we go. There's some nice drops. There we go. Okay, so Merlin, you get the point. So just, and just because you buy it doesn't mean you need to use it. So if I got to the point like Merlin can upgrade, I may not upgrade him just because I'm focusing on my main march. I'll keep his fragments, but I may not upgrade him. I may upgrade him and keep those, keep those fragments in reserve and say, okay, I'm running low. I need some. I, I want to make this purchase. And don't be afraid to get rid of some epic um, fragments because you will get them back if you're really low on purple crystals. So the, I'm going to do a separate video on Tower of Knowledge. 
just my point in in here is that the tower of knowledge is very important but it's very limited on what drops in here or what you can use until you start getting up up into level 24 25 where you start seeing the purple stuff that really starts giving you big benefits so i use this area very conservative early game um, because you can recycle purple stones in here so i could bring it down to none but you don't get 100 percent back so you don't get the unlock back so whatever that costs and to unlock it and i think the blues yeah, here's a blue. It's 2,000 purple stones to unlock. And then upgrading it up to four doesn't cost too bad. So, like, if I upgrade, that's 3,360. Uh, but once you get beyond that, especially in the blue, uh, 3,000. Oh, I kept them all at three because of the expense. I think they're uh, green is a little bit cheaper. I want to say it's like about 2,800 to upgrade to four. Uh, but the blue starts getting expensive and these give you great power boosts. They can also, um, add a lot to the game when you pairing up certain skills with certain, uh, heroes and mortals to make, make them even stronger and better and more effective during the battles. But I'm not going to go into all that detail in this video. Um, I mainly want to focus on the market and... See right there, I got it, claim. So let's see my next time. I got to buy 1,250. Okay, so my point is with the market is, let's recap. Pick a certain amount of heroes that you want to focus on those and focus on those. Don't be afraid to, to purchase out of the market of stuff that you're not going to use. Because you'll get, you can recycle and you will get like for like back. Uh, when you purchase stuff and, and you think you want to use it, but it's not your main march, but you still want to make that purchase, then just keep it in your inventory and don't use it. And when you need to, when you, and keep that in reserve, keep that in the bank. And if you need to dip into the bank and recycle, then you have an option to recycle. So... I get real nervous when I get uh, start getting below 3,000 on purple crystals. Just because I know, you know, the epic generally costs 1,000. And you get a couple drops and boom, you're, you're gone. And so I start looking for opportunities to, uh, you know, refresh, recycle. Uh, look at options, you know, is there someone that I could reborn? And someone that I'm not using or they're on my last march or something like that and I'm not uh, focusing on it. I start looking at opportunities to build that up, up again. Or I just don't go in the market much and stay away from it until I can build up again. Because if you go in there and refresh, it's going to show up and you're going to be tempted to buy it. So sometimes it's a good decision to say, hey, I'm not going into the market today. I'm going to stay away from the store. I'm not going to go shopping. I'm going to keep my money in the bank and I'm going to save some money and meaning saving some purple crystals. So that's about the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the thumbs up for liking it. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Definitely more videos that will be coming out. I will be doing a video on the Tower of Knowledge. A uh, new event just came to our server. It's not a new event, but it's been around. But I want definitely there's some tips around we got a lot going on right here in the server right now, event-wise. So we got Rebel Tracks happening, and we got Detention of Lords and Expel Gnomes all at once. And I really want to do a video on Rebel Tracks because there's a way that you could do it uh, that is fun if you do it a certain way. It becomes hard if you just start summoning the rebel camps and you guys are all fall apart, I'll, I'll explain it all in the other video video, but it is a fun event, uh, with planning around it and that's it. So have a great day.